Okay, no more messing about. This is definitely going to be a review of the Game Elk. Uh, so this is from Bandai's Robot Demashing line. It's part of their car signature series, which are their premium format uh, Robot Demashing figures. Uh, these so far, I think, have been all from the Mobile Suit Gundam series. And I think they've also all been from the Universal Century as well. Uh, so what marks them out as different is they tend to be the less common suits. Uh, and this is a very uncommon suit uh, and they also happen to come with one of these uh, which is a lovely well printed decal sheet and it's a decal sheet I will never touch because if I wanted to mess around with decals I would end up buying the Mobile Suit Gundam kit of which there are thousands. Now if you don't know what the uh, game elk is it's a mobile suit that featured quite late on in Mobile Suit Gundam Double Zeta it is piloted by Kara Soon, who's one of those uh, slightly stereotypical, uh, mildly psychotic uh, female pilots that uh, they seem to like including in the Gundam series, uh, out inside UC as well as outside of UC. And Kara did actually manage to get this uh, suit's full firepower off against the uh, Gundam, uh, like I say, later on in uh, Double Zeta. And uh, yeah, this is uh, one of the uh, crazy powerful mobile suits you see, uh, which is kind of signified by its size. Uh, this is uh, a pretty, pretty big mobile suit. Uh, now, I'll demonstrate that with one of the unicorn figures. And there you go. That's the unicorn. Um, uh, so yeah, so that's that's the newer version of the Unicorn which I showed off before. Um, it's still quite a bit shorter than this suit, uh, and to give you a better sense of scale, that's a three and three quarter inch GI Joe. Uh, yeah, this uh, this action figure is pretty huge. And this figure was bound to be expensive because it's part of the car signature line, and that makes it a Tamashi Nations exclusive, which means it's pretty hard to get hold of, uh, and unless you know a uh, very very good metal man uh, it means paying a premium on top of a premium anyway and then of course this uh, suit is a beast so you are going to be paying that much more uh, I think it retailed around 16,000 yen uh, which is not cheap not cheap at all um, now I was very lucky to get hold of this uh, not too much of a uh, horrific markup thankfully um, and I have to say uh, I was impressed as soon as I open the uh, packaging. Now obviously the first thing that uh, that you get to see when you open the package is just how big this is. Um, it it really is uh, not to be understated how large this is. Um, you can see it does also have a hell of a lot on the back as well. Um, so you've got these two um, boosters at the back. A uh, whole load of boosters at the back. Um, so yeah uh, for your money you are getting a heck of a lot of suit um, and it's really really well sculpted uh, you can see all these little details here uh, which are all the weapons that uh, gets to fire off um, and there's even sculpted detail inside the hands uh, for the weapons that come from the hands uh, and this is pretty much all weapon uh, they're all particle cannons, mega particle cannons, grenade launchers, those are the grenade launchers there. Um, yeah, and uh, there's even a couple of uh, additional weapons, if I can just pull these out. There you go. Uh, there's some uh, more cannons for you, as you can see. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it is basically a mobile weapons platform uh, in action figure form. Um, yeah, uh, now the larger size, I did worry a little bit that they were just going to do cheap out on a few things. Um, now, really, they shouldn't because the larger size means you should be able to fit more in, uh, and it's certainly true. I mean, this you've got a full range of arms, there's uh, a really nice joint system hidden inside there. Uh, similar to the standard one you get, with you've got uh, a nice ball joint coupled to a, uh, a swivel joint to get a large, a lot of movement, <coughs> huge range of movement, um, and it's the same with the legs. Uh, now they are a bit stuck because of this front piece here, 
Uh, so you've got the front, the side skirt, they all move to get out of the way, uh, which is also very nice. Uh, but it does mean that you sometimes bash into it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, they haven't lost any articulation, even given the size of everything on this. Uh, there's just no loss of articulation at all. Um, and it's really, really impressive to see. Uh, you can see on the feet as well, they're all uh, nice and movable, lots of twisting and turning. I mean, you can get a really nice wide leg pose with that level of movement there. Uh, there's also some individual movement in the, uh, in the feet as well. Uh, yeah, it's... There's just a lot of details on here. Uh, now, <clears throat> the only thing I'm really a bit disappointed about is uh, these lenses for the beam cannon. Uh, now, this is quite a large suit, uh, quite an expensive suit, uh, but they didn't really do anything. Um, they didn't really do anything to make, to sort of point these out a little bit more. Uh, I mean, you can see with the eye, I mean, that's reflecting really well. Uh, now, if they'd had a little lens on these, that would have been a heck of a lot nicer, I have to say. But yeah, uh, I mean that's that's really a, quite a minor, uh, a minor complaint. I mean when you think that um, this suit could have been just a large lump of plastic that barely moves, um, but they have put joints everywhere, uh, and they've really really done a good job. I mean even got a nice joint on this uh, fist here, uh, so that you can actually get. Uh, quite a lot of poses out of it. Um, now, as with a lot of the uh, Robot Damashi figures, you get quite a few extras. Uh, and basically, there's a. You just pick them all up. Uh, you've got a bucket load of extra hands. Uh, now, these go from your closed fisted hand, uh, and then you've got your straightforward hand, now that's obviously for firing a weapon, that's the weapon at the front there uh, you can just about see uh, and they have yeah, several different flavours of straight hand which is a, a bit of a weird thing uh, these are actually slightly different uh, you see one's just got slightly bent more bent than the other yeah, it's uh, uh, it's, some of the hands do feel a bit unnecessary uh, now, <clears throat> there is one and which is uh, is pretty cool, uh, and it's part of the uh, uh, the weapon get kit um, for. So you can see there's that little block in there. Uh, now what that's for is because this has a uh, blade weapon. Uh, now the weapon fits. I can remember which way around it goes. Uh, weapon does just fit in. To there and it locks in place quite nicely. You can see there that the it's locked in place, and then <clears throat> you get a lovely bit of clear plastic. Uh, and there's his this uh, suit's blade weapon, uh, and it goes for both knees as well. Um, yeah, it's 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 pretty neat little touch. Uh, I wasn't expecting it. <clears throat> I must admit, I hadn't really seen that much of uh, Double Zeta at the time, uh, so it was really impressive to see that they'd uh, gone into those kind of that level of detail uh, to make sure those uh, all those little parts um, were sorted out. These aren't the only extra bits you get. Um, now these are the uh, um, mother funnels, I think they're called, uh, and they have quite a smart little connector to allow you to run them independently. Uh, now inside here, and I always struggle to open this, um, see if I can get into it, uh, no, nope. doesn't, anyway, uh, <laughs> as I struggle for ages to try and get into there. Uh, now that contains a uh, port for a Tamashi stage, um, so that means that you can uh, uh, connect it up and have these uh, funnels running separately and you don't have a funny opening left. On here, um, it's it's a really, really, really neat little touch. Uh, does sort of identify the premium nature of this because I don't think you'd get that on something that was on a more general release. Um, 
so yeah just lots and lots of things uh, that are really nice about this particular suit uh, it yeah I, I have to say uh, it was expensive um, but it was definitely worth the money um, it's not it's not Bandai throwing out a bog standard suit as another repaint. Uh, it's something unique. Uh, it's a mono eye, and I have to say, I love the mono eyed figures. Um, now, the mono eye thing is, is interesting because a lot of Bandai's uh, more recent mono eyed figures um, from the uh, Gira Zulus from Unicorn, they all have a nice gimmick where you take the top of the hat off or the top of the helmet off uh, and then you can swivel the eye uh, you can't with this one uh, it's a solid piece of plastic uh, now they do give you alternatives um, but it does mean that basically you have a choice of three ways to go uh, Now I'm not sure why they didn't include that uh, I mean it's it's quite small space inside there um, really for it um, but yeah it, it it does feel like they've made a few sacrifices uh, in order to make this figure um, look as good as they wanted uh, in general um, so there you see so you have the eye going on one side uh, and then the other one is basically pretty much the opposite um, so yeah so I mean, those are really the only truly disappointing things I've found with this. Uh, really, the rest of the suit is just really nicely sculpted, uh, really detailed, uh, really poseable. Um, and what Bandai have done really, really well um, to, to add to this is they've given you, they give you a nice display stand. Uh, so it's very similar to the one that you get with the Kshatriya um, and it actually means that you can make the most out of this suit because this suit is big and it's not easy posing it in nice poses uh, now these stages are there's some impressive stuff in this uh, so you actually have a, a locking mechanism to stop you from being able to leave your stop the suit from sliding around um, I, I do I just love these stages I really do um, they, now they're not they're not necessarily worth the extra money uh, for getting one of these uh, uh, one of the larger suits um, but they do mean that you can display this suit uh, without fear of coming home one day and finding it in shattered pieces uh, I don't think, to be honest, this would actually shatter. Uh, this would probably dent something. Uh, it's not actually that heavy, um, but it is just really, really big. Um, and yeah, I think, to be honest, if you're a huge fan of uh, Double Zeta, uh, or more especially a fan of mono-eyed uh, gun uh, mobile suits, uh, so if you're a Xeon or Neo Xeon fan. I really think you should get this if you can afford it. Uh, the, the price, though, is it is a killer. Uh, it's it puts this really out of a instant recommendation range. Uh, I personally don't think it's uh, a waste. I think Bandai have done a really really good job of making this suit. This is a very unusual suit. Uh, it's real surprise to see Bandai actually bothering with this and it means that we may get some more of the larger suits in the future uh, now if we, they suddenly um, release uh, the O from uh, uh, Mobile Suit Gundam Zeta I will be really 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 pleased um, because I just love these huge mono uh suits uh, now, <clears throat> what is really cool is it does seem to be a thing with Bandai at the moment. This uh, um, release of the unusual suits from uh, the Zeta and uh, Zeta series—that's um, one they released 
not too long ago. Uh, and as you can see, it's another mono eye, uh, though this one actually does have a swiveling head um, to handle it. Um, now, if Bandai continue to do this, and they are actually going to be releasing the um, double Zeta shortly and uh, in the full armor version, and they're also going to be doing Zeta Gundam as well at last. Uh, then yeah this is this is this is good uh it is good that bandai are focusing so much on the universal century and not on the uh um some of the uh weirder gundam lines um so yeah uh like i say if you can afford it and you really really love uh, gundam zeta uh and all that comes with it then I would recommend this suit. Uh, otherwise, yeah, see if you can get it cheap. Um, so to recap, price really is the only issue with this uh, particular figure. I think that makes it the difference from a must-buy to a are you a big fan of Neo Zeon or are you a big fan of this particular suit? Uh, if you are, yeah, you should really try and find a way to get it. Uh, if you're not, yeah. I would stay away uh, to be honest I don't think you're gonna get enough enjoyment out of it uh, anyway so that's finally the review of uh, the robot Damashi game elk uh, thanks for watching <laughs>